It's gone. <laughs> How many nights a week do you wake up yeah. with pain? I'd say pretty much every night. Let this relax, let it go. I feel like you step back and you're just like, yeah, job will do it. A tad more aggressive. It hurts to breathe. Yeah. <sighs> you're doing something to me. Oh my god. Yeah. It does not feel normal. My body's probably in shock right now. So I'll write a referral for an x-ray. I might have to leave a, leave a subscribe and a comment and a like. Nevaeh. It's heaven spelled backwards. Oh, Nevaeh. It's what? It's heaven spelled heaven backwards? Spelled backwards yeah. Oh, shit. That's cool. Thank you. What's some easy stuff? Back pain, neck pain. Where does it hurt the most? Most point, upper back. Okay. And then my hip always feels like it needs to pop. Something weird is that when I sleep and I wake up, I wake up all the time from the pain. It hurts to breathe, so it, it just hurts everywhere. All right, take me, how far back can you go with the upper back, mid back stuff? How long have you had that pain? Probably like two years, okay. maybe more. Did you have an accident or an injury two years ago or what changed? No, mm -mm. Did you have a new job two mm -hmm. years ago? Nope, I was a dog walker, but Oh, uh, what about the hip? Uh, how far back can you remember this hip? It started the same as everything else started. Okay, it all started at the same time. All right, so have you had it treated yet? Chiropractic, like therapy, chiropractic therapy a little bit. Okay, did it help? Two different chiropractors. First one was awful. Second one, it helped, but never actually really eliminated the problem. I know he gave me exercises to do at home. I did those, and then still kind of the same. Did anyone ever take an x-ray of you? Um, no. You ever, were you in, into any other high impact exercising, weightlifting? Weightlifting since I was 17, so okay. I looked really heavy. Okay. Really heavy squats, deadlifts. And you started that when you were 17 and then you started having pain when you were 21? Yeah. Do you still lift like that? Yeah. How does it feel when you lift? Good. Um, I just feel like, like tightness in my hips and then sometimes a little bit of lower back pain, but I feel like that's just my form. I don't know if that's my back or if it's my form or both, but... How many nights a week do you wake up with pain? I'd say pretty much every night. Okay. How many days a week do you lift? Um, probably like four or five. Okay. And so you're a gamer? Yeah. How many hours a day do you game? <clears throat> oh God. Um, it varies sometimes. Maybe like two hours to like five, six hours. All right. Okay. That could be part of the issue too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you're describing indicates possibly that there was some kind of injury to your spine. And the, the frequency of pain that you're having is way too much. And mm -hmm. the intensity to wake up at night is way too much. Mm -hmm. So we should take a picture of it and get a look and see what's in there. So I'll write a referral for an x-ray. All right, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off looks symmetrical. There might be just a little bit of eversion, but it's symmetrical on both sides, so normal for her, most likely. <laughs> nice. Okay, tracing up to the knee. Knee down, no genuvarum, no genuvalgum. That looks pretty straight away here. I don't see any rotations. Hip swing looks symmetrical. Arm swing looks symmetrical. I don't see any asymmetries there. Looks like we're higher on the right shoulder, but the mastoid process is following suit. A little bit higher on the right ear as well. Alright, so decreased arch on this side, not so much on this side, but no bunion formation at all. Looks pretty straight up and down from here. Go put your hands on your hips. Alright, now let them relax. Let your uh, hands relax. Good. Definitely a high right hip. Let your arms fall. High right shoulder, high right ear. Everything's high on the right. Okay, I'm going to do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. left shoulder blade is jumping out here there's definitely a rib out here I'm gonna push in a little bit deeper there and then like this you, you've got those bodybuilder shoulders like this like <laughs> super, yeah do that again though because like that really is is where your shoulder posture should be just a little bit more relaxed but yeah squeeze again 
You're very strong here. Okay, let that relax. Very strong. I'm gonna do a temperature examination with the back of my hands, which are more sensitive to temperature. This right side of your spine is much more warm than the left side of your spine. It's more symmetrical when we get to the top here. Right here in this mid thoracic spine, it's it's cold, it's damp. It just says that there's not as much blood flow, there's not as much happening here, there's restriction, stagnation. I'm gonna push it into the spine. It's dry down here in the bottom of your spine. It's not like that anywhere else. When you're Italian, you should have more, more oily skin, this down here. So there's definitely some restrictions happening, definitely some stagnations down here in the, over top of the sacrum. And now let's just figure out what's happening with these ribs. So this feels different, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Does this feel, this feel, must feel a lot different than this right here. Oh, yeah. I feel really stiff. Over here, right on the left. Definitely some rib action happening here. Okay, but the muscles are very symmetrical here. The trap muscle is a little bit tight, but it's even on both sides. A little bit of levator scapula right here on this left side. Is that tender? Rhomboids, much more hypertonic on the left. So especially rhomboid minor. The lats seem pretty even though. There's not much going on here in latissimus. So, so from here down, this is good. It's really like this area right here with concentration right on that guy. All right, I'm gonna look at your pelvis uh, torque right now, okay? okay? So you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings like this, and I'm gonna trace up to the bottom of the glute fold. Good, stand up nice and tall, look straight ahead. Slightly lower on the right. So that means the right hip is like back like this. Mm -hmm. And then looking from the top, feet are even. And then the left side comes out further like this, and the right side's in, which means it's back and in like this, and then this one is forward and out. I'm just looking for postural sway here, different swaying motions indicate different things. It wants to go lateral, side to side. Okay, you can open your eyes. Can you crack your own back? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's awful down <laughs>
It's not called muscle scraping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're doing good. Breathe through it. A nice gentle breathing. This one might be a little bit more intense. Mm. Got to breathe. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is dense right here. All right, let's see how these pelvic muscles are doing. Not great right there? Mm-mm. Okay, a deep breath. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. Holy crap.
I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to adjust according to the trap fiber. So we're going to follow these trap fibers over here like a map. Three, four, five, four. That's tender, right? Mm-hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Which one's the most tender? Five, four. Okay, four. 95, 84, 73. That's T6 and L2. All right, so we're going to start at T6, which is right where that rib is. That okay. thing right there, that's tender, right? Mm-hmm. All right, let's give it a try. Deep breath in. And out. Good sinking in. Good sinking. Let it all go. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> there's more in there, though. It's, there's a lot more. Good. Shoulders sinking in. Just let this all go. Good. Nice. Silent, but good. <laughs> breathing. Keep breathing. A deep breath in. No. Yeah. Push in this direction, okay? Okay. Okay, let your head and shoulders relax as much as you can. Good. Mm. I moved in ways I never thought I could. Okay, nice and gentle. As you breathe in, we're going to follow your breath and give a push there, okay? Breathe in this yeah. time? Yep, you're going to breathe in, and then right about there is when I push. All right. Good. Good. You want to breathe with your tummy. Don't breathe with your shoulders. Let your shoulders carry out. Very nice. Let it out. Mm. <laughs> Good. 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 Checking the lumbar spine. All right, keeping your knees straight, lift your right leg up in the air. <laughs> down. That was like here in the thoracic spine. Okay, do the left. Down, right lumbar fires perfectly. Let's do the right again. Down. Left lumbar is lagging. Let's do this technique I just learned. I'm going to lower this down so your side joints, okay? Do you have any tension or discomfort when I push here? No. Definitely there. Double SI joints. Nice and gentle breathing. Okay, I'm going to bring your, your shoulder like this and your hips right there. Stretching your shoulders in this direction like that. I'm going to bring this down. Then we're going to push in that direction like that. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Shoulders coming up like this. I'm going to bring your hip down. Okay, go ahead and take a mm -hmm. deep breath in. Following this breath out like this. Go a little bit more. Good. Can I have your back? More. More. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, same thing as last time. Nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in. And out. Hold on, there's more in there. Yep. Hold that's on. usually what I get. Mm, there's more though. Shoulders. Good. Oh, okay, lean your back. Mm. All right, go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Turn your head to the left. Back to center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear down to your shoulder. Center. Okay, nice and gentle. Now we're going to start on the left side here for the left atlas. Nice and gentle. I'm going to bring your head to right here. I'm just trying to let your head completely relax. Good. And sink in. Okay, we're going to bring this over here like this. Okay, I'm going to give a little push in that direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Try to let your head drop in. Let your shoulders drop in. Breathe. Good. Let it go. Let it all go. I don't even know how to react to these these cracks. Might have to might have to leave a leave a subscribe and a comment and a like. 
Okay, nice and gentle over the right side here. Okay, your head is loosey goosey, relaxy taxi. We're gonna bring this through here like this. Where do you feel it more? Here? Here. I think there. All right, now, loose. You gotta let it go. Loose. Gentle. Breathing. Okay, gentle. Sinking. Let this relax. Let it go. I feel like you step back and you're just like, yeah, job well done. <laughs> I'm just giving you space. I, mean, I don't have to, after I crack it, there's nothing else for me to do except for just allow the body to do what it's supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> I gotta just relax here. I can crack like that. That's insane. Oh, that's fine. Okay, tuck your hands underneath your hips. Okay, I'm going to do an organ digestion manipulation, okay? Okay. So it starts with the ileocecal valve. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. We find valve. ileocecal valve. Ileocecal valve. Okay, first we find the belly button. Yours is here, the ASIS, the front of the hip bone. We connect these two points. Like that? Yeah. Is she noisy? Better now. That, that one already cleared just now. <laughs> Good. Okay, now deep belly breathing. Oh god. And out. More belly. We're gonna get a good release here. Another breath in and out. It's a little bit more, keep going. Belly breath. Belly breath. Oh, that feels so weird. Yep, this is it right here. Watch belly breath. I can literally feel it now. Like I'm still oh, ew. <laughs> the human body. I'm gonna use this towel like this. Does that, are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna support your neck like this. <laughs> I'm gonna follow your breath out. As you breathe out, we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna pull like that, okay? Yep. Okay, this one's a tad more aggressive than the other ones. All you have to do is keep your teeth together. All right. All right, let's give it a try. Nice, soft, gentle breathing in through your nose. Following the breath as you breathe out. Good. A tad more aggressive. Ooh. Breathe. Oh, Lord. Like that, my whole lower back just feels like separated. Good. It's echoing. That's what we want. Well. Just relax, breathe. How did it feel? This is just like a very unique experience. Mm -hmm. Alright, stand up, walk around a little bit. Right here. Sore? 
I guess a little achy. Like spaced out. Like, I don't know if it's like relief yet. It feels like tight but loose at the same time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. it, it does not feel normal. But I've been going on for a while with this problem, so mm -hmm. my body's probably in shock right now. Um, getting a little dizzy. I'm gonna go the other way. <laughs> I th it's starting to feel pretty normal. It's definitely calming down a little bit. It's definitely calming down. It doesn't feel nearly as weird as it did. Where's me? Okay, shoulder is much more even. We're gonna go back the other way. Good, we probably fixed a little bit of that hip asymmetry too. Good, come back this way again. Now the left foot continues to evert, but the right foot does not. So we have to look at that left hip again. But the shoulders are even and the ears are even. Good progress. I crack my fingers like this all the time. That's probably why it's not happening. Get this elbow back against my hand. Push. Hard as you can. You're doing something to me. <laughs> you can put your right hand on Because this one always feels like it needs to do that. Push right here. Push. Push, push. Come on, push over here. Oh, that's insane. I bring it down to your chest. Okay, I'm gonna bring this right here. One more. Okay, let's relax here. Let this shoulders relax. So it needs to go. Okay, let this relax. Let your shoulders relax. Good. We're gonna sink in here. That's crazy. Are we doing third time's a charm? All right. Get this relax. All right. Third time's a charm. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna check the ribs now, okay? Let's mm -hmm. start with the clavicle. Second rib is here. Right or left? Um, neither. They both feel the same. Right or left? Oh, they both feel the same again. Right or left? Right. Okay, maybe we down one more, okay? Okay. Right or left? Right. All right, I'm gonna contact that rib again with my thumb right here, okay? Okay. okay so I'm gonna contact it just like this. Let this right arm relax now. Good. We're gonna attack. We're gonna attach the back of the rib right there. You're gonna lean back against me, okay? Lean back against me. Look up at the ceiling. Hold on, it's right there. One more time. Lean back and let your head completely go. Let this. Let this go. It's gone.
I feel like we're like mother and child and you're trying to like burp your baby. Mm. Mm. Just let it go.